My name is Ashley Gavin, and today I'm going to be talking about computer science education. Uh, but before I start, I should probably tell you what computer science is, because a lot of you probably heard the term computer science, and you're like, oh no, please don't talk about that. That sounds boring. That sounds technical. Um, but it's actually not really that bad. So I'm just going to tell you what computer science is all about. So to me, my definition of computer science is that it's a medium for problem solving and self-expression. So much the same way an artist, when she goes to paint something, she thinks about what does she want to paint and then translates that idea how it would come out in paint and paintbrushes. Uh, a computer scientist does the same thing, except they use the computer to build that product. But let's talk about computer science. For them. So the first question is, what most influenced your choice of field? So if you're in college, this is your major, or what you think you're going to major in. If you have a job, this is your job, uh, the field that you work in. And I want you to think about, of these two, which was the most influential on your choice? Number one, you saw it on TV or in the media, and you thought it looked cool. Or number two, you tried it, and you enjoyed it. So who's in camp number one? Like one person. Who's in camp number two? Yes, imagine that. You tried the thing that you are going to do for the rest of your life, probably. The first part of my philosophy is project-based learning. Computer science is the only subject where on day one you can walk into class and in 45 minutes you can program a video game. No other class can do that. So why wouldn't you do that? Right? That's something that everyone is going to enjoy. But the great thing about using project-based learning is that, again, computer science is not about coding. It's about problem solving. And I'll give you an example of what I mean. Let's say a student actually wants to build a video game like Mario, where you know, a little guy runs across the screen and jumps up on platforms and sort of jumps on bad guys. The first thing that you have to figure out is the steps that make that possible. How do I make this person jump? When they reach the top, how do I make them come back down? What if something bumps into them along the way? These are all considerations that you have to think about. You don't code them first. You think about them first. Then you think, what are, the, what are the worst case scenarios? Like, what's a scenario that I haven't thought about yet? How do I test the solution to make sure that it works? That's all problem solving skills that apply far beyond computer science. And when you do project based learning, you can do that in your classroom. Another great thing about project based learning is that computer science doesn't exist in a vacuum. It, it, you can't do computer science for the sake of doing computer science. You have to apply it to another field. That's why it was made. So when a student says, well, I don't really think I'm interested in that. That doesn't really matter. What are you interested in? And let's apply computer science to it. So I do a lot of robotics work, a lot of generative art, a lot of video games, music, medicine, things like this. And that really brings in kids that thought they weren't interested in computer science. Another great thing about computer science is that you can share it with the world. So, and all this leads up to a feeling of empowerment. They feel that they have the skills, no matter what the problem is, they can go and put those skills towards fixing that problem. They use computer science as a way to express their ideas, and it's not about numbers and symbols on a screen. Does this work? It's all rainbows and fairies and unicorns, Ashley, but can I do this in my classroom and will it work? Yes, definitely. Learning to code changed my perception of myself from a wisher to a doer. Now I'm empowered to do the things I want, and I don't have to wait for anyone else to do them. This is a quote from a 16-year-old girl the same girl taking that selfie following Kim Kardashian on Instagram said this 